In the today's video, I'm going to share with you how I clean my home with all natural homemade cleaners that are easier on the budget and it's way better for our health and environment. This whole house clean with me will be made from two parts. Today, you're going to see part one. About once a month or every second month, I like to run the self clean program on my washing machine. It's so well worth it. I was amazed by the amount of dirt that <laughs> it was in the water. It's a little bit noisy and it takes a very long time, but it's all worth it on the end. After the cleaning cycle, I am going to clean the filter and first I am going to let the water out of this little holder and it's usually just a plate of water so you don't have to expect a lot of water and then I'm just going to use a paper towel to wipe it out and I'm going to scrub the filter. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I am going to start to clean the whole entire house. So I wanna prepare for the breakfast. So I will have a smoother start. When I bought this little cabinet for the muffins, I thought it's just gonna be cute, but there are other things that I really like about that. Um, I don't have to worry about if there's a fly comes in. It's already tucked away, so it has a safe place and the muffins don't dry out. I had an idea the other day and today <laughs> I am going to quickly just do it. It's not because I'm procrastinating the cleaning, right? But first, I have to clean up the countertop. Some 
People have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do. I like to decorate with green branches, whatever I can find outside. So a couple of days ago I had this idea to do this with ivies. I mean we got a lot of ivies <laughs> and it would be nice to hang them down from the kitchen window and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way for a long time but for now I just had to let it out of my system. <laughs> as soon as I have an idea I have to try it. Well, I don't So yesterday I focused on the washing machine, today I'm going to clean out the dryer as well and I find this brush is more efficient than the vacuum cleaner. It just does a better job that way than just the vacuum cleaner as itself. And for the screen I am going to wash that with a warm soapy water. I don't know if you guys know that but if there's a dryer machine that caught on fire it's because air cannot go through on this screen and it's mostly from the fabric softener so if you use a fabric softener make sure you wash it often I find this little brush very handy to clean out knocks and crannies. I will link it down below for you guys. There's so many areas where I was able to use it and I still keep finding areas where I can clean with that. When I do the deep cleaning, I like to focus on those itty bitty details that I skip during just when I keeping up with the house. There are these little edges on the washing machine. I like to clean those because it really does look like a brand new appliance if it's cleaned out nicely. I mean, I don't do this very often, but if I do the deep cleaning, it makes a difference. Ideally, it would be nice to pull out the washing machine and the dryer, but I cannot do this on my own. <laughs> and then uh, I can ask Joad, but you know what guys, we are going to do some work in this room and hopefully soon, I don't know when, but I was thinking I can just pull it out then. And for now I just use this duster, and which was very effective to pull out all those fallen off detergent pieces and then lint. There are two tools that I love to use when I clean the floor and one of them is cordless vacuum cleaner and I love how easy to use this and to mop the floor I have this steam mop and I like to use some essential oil but I don't put it into the mop because that could ruin that part that actually gives out the steam so I just drop it on the floor and it works perfectly. I am so looking forward to use this fireplace and I am so not looking forward to clean it. <laughs> but 
it comes with that and then we just cleaned that chimney so that created a lot of dust inside and it's it's not too bad but since it's a very fine dust I thought it's better to just clean it now and then I will have less work later on I have not washed these curtains for a very long time so it's time to include that on my list Since I'm making a load with the curtains, I'm going to pull it off from the kids' rooms as well. And I really like these curtains. Uh, it was supposed to be linen when I ordered that. When it arrived, it says it has some polyester in it. <laughs> so I wasn't too thrilled about that, but I ended up really liking this curtain. I like the soft color and the texture. Back to the cleaning, I am going to do some general dusting and wiping off the surfaces. you close 
well what can i say <laughs> those screens are still not my favorite actually taking out the screen this time it wasn't as hard than putting it back I'm not Once the washing machine is done, I am just going to hang all the curtains while they are still wet and I'm going to open the windows and it's going to dry in no time. As we are remodeling this house we don't have baseboards everywhere <laughs> and I just realizing the good side of it I don't have to clean those areas Right now it's pretty easy to clean this area but it will be really really dirty as we start to use the fireplace. like to do a deep cleaning with each season that's how I welcome the new season also this week my friends are going to come over and we're going to do some canning we're going to can some grape juice and i just want these things to get out of the way so i can focus on the canning later on this week Also, the fall decor started to make its way slowly into our home. <laughs> I've got some pumpkins and I made some candles. Oh, 
Yeah, it crossed my mind <laughs> to uh, change it up a little bit. I might will do that. <laughs> we'll see that. But for now, I kind of like the layout of the house right now. But once we're going to have the fireplace up and running, I might going to push the couch closer to the fireplace. We'll see that. But for now, it works and functions very well this way. Freshing up the couch with some lavender, some dried lavender from the summer. I don't like to use baking soda because that could ruin my vacuum cleaner. Also, I love this dust mop so much because even though I clean that with the vacuum cleaner since it's under the couch, it's just more stagnant there that dirt, so it's it's harder to clean. So since it's less frequently cleaned, it's it's sticking more to the floor so after i cleaned it with the vacuum cleaner i use this mop and i also i am going to clean it with the steam mop as well I like to use the glass door to take notes <laughs> this is where i'm gathering the list what i have to get done and also i am going to water these mums they look very sad we've been getting lots of sunshine and very dry summer-ish weather during the day so they dry out fast We are adjusted to the new schedule but also the boys are taking different sports now and in a different time so <laughs> this is going to be a pre-dinner snack-ish something that we can eat together and it's a very simple recipe I do believe I put this on my website and if so I will link it down below in the description box but basically it's just chickpeas and some eggs and a little bit of a gluten-free flour and then some spices and I just fry them and they are delicious and it just fills up our stomach very fast.
one of my son just left to do some sports and the other one is still working on the homework. Joad is cleaning the dishes. I'm going to finish some cleaning in this area. After all this cleaning, I'm just going to watch some DVD. I'm going to enjoy the night. Thank you so much for sticking until the end. I really appreciate you being here. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And I will see you soon in the part 2 video.